Hi, this is Mr. Wedge, and today in art we're going to start making a wood assemblage horse sculpture. Yeah, in the style of Deborah Butterfield. So last class we talked about Deborah Butterfield's artwork. She always sculpts horses, um, and horses are tricky to draw. So we talked about the shape of the body, and the neck, and the head, and the legs, and we practiced sketching those shapes. Well today we're going to start turning those flat two-dimensional shapes into 3D form. Um, but we're going to start flat and then try to make it more 3D as we go. So today, um, just remember what you uh, uh, learned last time. And you're going to need a piece of tin foil or aluminum foil. That's a placemat. Um, we're going to use wood glue. And wood glue is very strong. It sticks to wood but it won't uh, stick to aluminum. So that's why we're gonna work on here. And I have some scraps, some wood scraps, different shapes and sticks and stuff. And I've got a little brush and I'm gonna use that to paint the glue on. So first step, we need to make the body. Just like when we made the, uh, the drawing, we're gonna sculpt the body. So we're gonna need to find sticks that kinda have that shape to it. And if you remember, a horse is kind of round in the back, round on the chest, right? And their back's curved, too. Do you see that? Their back is curved. And their belly's curved, too. So if you find curves, that's really helpful. But you could also make curves, right? I could kind of trick people. I could find a piece of wood that's already curved, right? But I could also kind of trick people if you take two pieces of wood and just glue them together like that, it kind of looks like a curve. And Deborah Butterfield does both when she finds her materials. So um, there's a piece that might be good for the rump. And then uh, you could always break the pieces if they're too um, long, okay? If you think you can break it. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Um, but don't use scissors, okay? Really bad idea. Uh, some wood you can split too if it's too thick. You can snap it like that. Um, sticks you could always break. If you find a piece that you like, like there's a great curve right there, right? That would be perfect for the back. Um, and I, like this could be the tail, could be the start of the tail. So maybe I'll just break this part off. Okay, so just be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself, but um, yeah, try to get the right shape. And you can plan it out in advance. So maybe there's the rump. And then this could be the belly. It's a little long, so I could break that part. Okay. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just try to find the pieces that work. This is kind of how Deborah Butterfield works. So once I arrange it, we're just going to start with the body today. Um, once you get it figured out how you want it, put your glue on where you'd want it. And we're going to stick the pieces of wood together with the wood glue. Okay. We're not gluing it to the tin foil. That's not the purpose of this. We're not trying to glue it to the table or anything. We're trying to glue the pieces of wood to each other. So with a brush and a cup of wood glue, just kind of apply the glue as you go. Try not to dump it all over. You don't want too much. You don't want it to be a sculpture made of glue. You're just using the glue to hold the pieces of wood together. And we're gonna let these dry overnight. So there's basically the body. And then I can fill it in with supports, and Deborah Butterfield does this too. So you could take shorter pieces of wood, right, and kind of cross them over. And that'll make it look more interesting, and it'll also make it stronger. So I'll put some glue there, a little glue there. You could always set your brush down on your tin foil because it won't stick to the table. See that? So I glued all these pieces of wood to each other with the glue. I didn't just pour it on and expect it to hold. So you're going to have to overlap, all right? If you have two pieces of wood that are touching like this and you glue them, there's not, they're not going to be very strong, okay? But if I put glue there and then I cover this one and just let it dry overnight, it's going to be very strong, okay? So when you're done with the horse's body, and it looks good to you. Remember, this is the body, so the neck and the head will go this way. That's part of the tail. Um, but as soon as you like it and you're happy with it, um, you're all set. All we have to do today is the body. If you want to move on to other things, you can. 
um, but try to find the right pieces of wood that look like the horse you want to make. And the pose is going to be up to you. It could be galloping, could be just standing, uh, could have its head up, his head down, it's up to you. But hopefully you can picture it. The neck and the head will be, be right there. So you get the idea. So that's how we're going to do it and we're going to just leave it here to dry, okay? So when you're done with your sculpture, you're going to put your name and your class code right on your aluminum foil and leave it on the table. We're going to leave it here overnight, okay? So name and class code. Sound good? All right, work hard, have fun.